Konmo, a village in Kashmir, is a treasure trove of fossils from the Tethai Sea. But these fossils are at a risk of getting lost. Quarrying is erasing this invaluable geological heritage. The Konmo range is a stone's throw away from the Zabarwan Hills, which can be seen from Srinagar. Not many people visit these rocky slopes. Rock collectors, geology enthusiasts and experts are seen here. Our section is largest preserved section in the world. The boundary section which hosts the mass extinction event is about three meters thick here. This section is known for almost now 150 years to the world scientists. At the moment there are 38 international geoscientists working on this section. They belong to different specializations. Since the first discovery of specimens from the Triassic period in the late 1800s, this place has been a hotspot for experts and students alike. These are fossils of marine life millions of years old. The Guryul Ravine in Konmo is said to have witnessed one of the largest mass extinction events 252 million years ago. This section also hosts the first ever tsunami recorded so far. In these rocks there are tsunami events below the extinction event which indicate that tsunami has taken place at that time. The fossil beds of the Z1 Konmo belt were formed when Kashmir was still submerged under the Tethai Sea. The Himalayas were also born out of this sea. There are geological records of the Permian period which was millions of years even before dinosaurs existed. The site also bears evidence of the Permian-Triassic extinction event also known as the Great Dying. Primordial corals, small invertebrates, plants and a group of mammal-like reptiles known as therapsids were prominent during this period. 70 to 90 percent of these species were wiped out. Research suggests that it was as a result of global warming and lack of oxygen. Preservation of this region is crucial to understand evolution, extinction, geology, geochemistry and more. Past is index of the future. So climatic change is what has happened in the past history of the globe that can be predicted what will happen in the future. So these studies are important as far as <coughs> global history is concerned. But researchers have warned that Kashmir's expanding cement industry in the last two decades has crushed fossils to cement. Uh, this is a limestone area that is being exploited by cement industries and they use that and in the garb of that they have destroyed it and I'm sure that most of the mining that has been done here, most of stones that have been killed, they have ended up in cement factories and in the bajri and finally to our drying rooms and houses and walls. The environmental policy group an umbrella group of environmentalists and civil society members are trying to save whatever remains of these treasures from the past. Now, the ball has been set rolling to turn this site into a fossil park. A memorandum of understanding was signed in 2018 between the Penn Dixie Fossil Park in the United States and the Environmental Policy Group to support the setting up of the fossil park. And very recently we have been successful in that we have been able to persuade Srinagar Smart City project. They have earmarked some funds for this and inshallah we will be soon starting in that Srinagar Smart City and Department of Tourism. They will start to, uh, to put a chain link so that this area is protected. This could be a ray of hope for students, tourists and geology enthusiasts who will get access to the remnants of the mega-geological event.